Hello, welcome to the new how-to videos. Today we're looking at how to make up a set of starting blocks. So this is a set of Pro-Olympic starting blocks, but most starting blocks are fundamentally the same, so whichever kind you're doing, you should find this video useful. This is what you get when you open the box. We have the centre bar, two foot plates, two stabilising plates, a bag of spikes and a spike key, some bolts and an allen key. So first things first, we need it the right way around. So the centre bar needs to be orientated as it would be for the athlete. So if I'm standing this way on my blocks, I want to be able to read the numbers that are on the centre bar, so I turn it this way around. Then we're going to take the first stabilising plate and affix it very simply using the bolts and the allen key. So put both bolts in loosely first, otherwise you may find that if you've tightened one too far you won't get the other bolt in. Tighten those up using your allen key and you have left out of the front the spike holes. We're not going to put those in now or the blocks will stick to the table. And this is a pinhole for if you're using the blocks on grass you can put a bigger pin through the centre point here to anchor it down rather than just relying on the spikes. Now there's a useful tip is if you tie a simple piece of string through this hole and measure it so that it exactly fits the distance that you want your block set back from the start line then you can just use that piece of string to get your blocks lined up appropriately, tuck it under the knee once you're ready to go and you don't need to carry a tape measure around with you to measure the positioning of your blocks from the start line every time you're racing. So now we're going to go and do the second stabilising plate in much the same way, two bolts in, very simple and tighten them with an allen key. Again you would want to put your spikes in the holes to either side of the t-bar, four on each side, but we won't do that to save our table. And there we have the centre bar of your blocks. Now we're ready to put the foot plates on. So you can see here the foot plate has a simple bar adjustment for the height of it with this little bar that fits into the grooves. So all you do is you flick this little bar out and you can adjust the foot plate to the angle that suits you. You'll see that it's got a fixture on the end, which is a couple of bolts with a plate. So this plate wants to fit over the side of the centre bar. So you take your first block, foot plate, and it simply slots into the grooves on the side. If you want to adjust the angle on the other one as well, and it literally just slots over. And now those are nice and stable on. And you can adjust the depth of the foot plate. You can also adjust for a wider or a narrower stance, depending on the preference of the athlete. Please view our other how-to videos, including the difference between types of starting blocks, and we hope you enjoy your sport.